Hello everyone, welcome back to Wondershare Famisafe, an application to protect your children from cyber threats by keeping an eye on their online activities. It's another day and another new topic. Today we will talk about the newly formed Gacha Club and the risks associated with it. Well, have you heard of the Gacha Club before? Do your kids play this game? Gacha Club is a role-playing video game that enables users to dress up and build anime-style characters. It's a sequel to the Gacha Life game in which Gacha refers to the small Japanese toys purchased from the vending machine. It provides a variety of play modes and has become one of the favorites of children and teens. However, the rating allowed by the Google Play Store is 10 plus and 9 plus on the Apple Store, so the app isn't as safe as it sounds. Feel free to leave any comments if you have any queries and don't forget to click on that subscribe button to Famisave to receive future updates and more videos. What is good about Gacha Club? Coming back to the main topic, every game has some pros and some cons. Same is with the Gacha Club. And before sharing the negative side with you, I would like to discuss the positive part of playing Gacha Club. Encourage creativity and storytelling. Kids can do some amazing things with their imagination. The Gacha Club offers them the opportunity to enhance and use their imagination in creating characters. As a result, this develops graphic design and art skills. Not only that, a child learns to see an image differently, which builds descriptive writing skills in them too. Non-violent game. Gacha Club is a non-violent game that encourages players to be kind, considerate, and generous with their hearts. No player-to-player -player interaction. This game restricts access to any second user. Your child can only play with the non-player character. What should parents know about Gacha Club? Although Gacha Club is considered a safe gaming application, its community is ruining everything. The Gacha Club hit the contents generated by the Gacha Club users is creating a bad perception of the game. As a parent, you have to be careful if your kids watch Gacha Hit content that is shared on social media apps by some bad people. You can easily find such content on TikTok and YouTube. They are inappropriate and sexually explicit. However, this is beyond the gameplay limits as such things don't happen in the actual game environment. How can parents make Gacha Club safer for kids? As you know how unsafe the Gacha Hit is, you can make the Gacha Club game a safe choice for your kid by implementing five tips. One, make an open and friendly conversation with your child at the Gacha Club. Try to find out whether he only plays the game or searches for the Gacha Hit videos on social media too. If your child has access to such videos, make him understand not to watch them and just play the game for fun. Enable the web filters so that your kids can access sexually explicit content on YouTube or anywhere else online. You can use privacy settings to control the interactions of your kids with others and hide their posts from strangers. Use FamilySafe to protect your kids from inappropriate content. Explicit content detection. Set offensive words like gacha club, gacha hit to get alert when they are detected on your kid's device. Web filter and browser history. Monitor your kids' online activity and block certain websites. Screen time control. You can limit the screen time and block specific apps, like gaming apps, that you don't want your kids to use. Now it's time to wrap up our episode on Gacha. If your kid likes to play this game, there is nothing wrong with it. 
But if you don't want them to explore the gacha hit videos, the tips I have shared will help in safeguarding your child's mental health. Do let us know what you thought about the gacha club and gacha hit. We want to hear from you, okay? Leave your comments down below on this episode. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel and you like the work we do here at FamilySafe, the best way to support us is by clicking on that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. If you have any topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, feel free to drop those suggestions in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.